So, Stephen Hendrian, and uh, now he's got about a couple of hours or so at least to wait to play his opponent here, Jimmy White, here tonight, as I say, live at a quarter past seven. We also travelled down to Jimmy White's home, that's down in Surrey, to see the other side of James Warren White. You may find it surprising, but Jimmy White has been married for 13 years and has four daughters. Throughout his career, he's been the lovable rogue and headline maker of snooker. But he sees himself now as just a very happy family man. I used to enjoy to go out a bit, yeah, but um, I think that was only because of, you know, I was young, really. I think um, nothing else. I just went for it because I was young. But, you know, now, now I used to look forward to going away to places too, having a good time. Now I go away looking forward to playing snooker. I think now, as the years have gone on, I think uh, my tag of being like a tearaway and that is was really a bit sort of blown up in proportion, really. You know, mm. I don't think it's uh, it's not a problem to me anyway. I just want to play snooker. Has he changed much over the years? As a person? Um, no, not at all. No. Oh come on, he was a bit of a tearaway. Still is. <laughs> so here we go again, then the championship of the world. Mm. Yeah. Um, I've been in 12 before, I think, or 13, something like that, and uh, I've always had the ability to win, and uh, I thought the last two or three years I got to um, I got to a situation in my game where I, I knew I was capable of winning it, but uh, I got beat in two finals on the trot. Um, but um, this year I just feel something's different about myself. I feel like um, I've got more chance of winning it this year than I've had it before, and I felt that last year, but during the final, you know, played well the first session, and I didn't seem to. I seemed to always fighting to, um, you know, get back get back at him instead of just playing my own game, and I think that cost me dearly. Three finals, mm. never a champion. Is it getting to you? It's uh, it's it will get to me if I don't win it, but I am totally confident that I will win it, and uh, I think this might be the year. You know, obviously there's other there's other great players about like uh, will be trying to prove me wrong, but. I think I've hit form at the right time. I've, I've not, I've not hit form before like this time, and feel f you know perfect for a tournament. What's so different about the build-up this year then, apart from winning a couple of tournaments, very nice ones, and beating Steve Davis? What's this different feeling? Well, I won the British Open, and uh, I felt like I swam the Channel. I, I was, I was seven nil up, and then it went. I was eight seven up, and all of a sudden it's all on top again, and I couldn't understand why. And we had a good celebration after, and I just woke up in, um, we went to Belgium, and I was, I was a bit knackered, like hangover from Belgium, and I just decided to stop drinking. You know, she's laughing. Yeah, yeah. And I just Does she believe you? <laughs> she don't know. I just decided to stop drinking. Not that I'm a heavy boozer. I do like to go out and have a good drink with my friends now and again, and my family, but I just decided to, um, I'll just uh, quit boozing. And I feel a lot better. I feel I want to practice more. Practicing doesn't mean a big journey. Just off his kitchen is the 147 Club, where Jimmy regularly plays with local friends Tony Mio, John Virgo, and his coach Alan. Jimmy is sure that this is his year, and Sheffield will give him his greatest moment. It doesn't matter what happens, every year, it, it's something different happens, something special always happens at the Crucible, and it's, a, it's just the snooker, the World Championship just can't be taken away from there. You know, I'd like to have more tournaments in London, but the World Championships has always got to be there. It's just a very special place, and obviously it's the World Championships. Do the nerves hit you when you walk in the Crucible? The first yeah, time? oh, absolutely. It doesn't matter, even if you're 9-1 you're up, you've only got to win 10, you've only got to win another frame, it's still... The, the, I think the butterflies goes in any sort of ranking match, but in the Crucible especially, because it's um, the one everyone wants to win. How uptight does Jimmy get before a big event like the World Championship? He doesn't get uptight at all. Doesn't, no, never shows any feelings, but um, he doesn't ever complain or moan or anything, even if he loses, so he doesn't get uptight. How difficult is it going to be for John Parrott to go there and defend his title? Is this going to give him extra pressure? Don't know, because I've not been world champion. If you ask me that next year, I'll be able to tell you. It sounds a bit flushed, doesn't it? <laughs> no, I can't, I can't tell you because I've not been champion. Yeah. Hello. Is that my cup of tea? Thank you. See you on tea. Whoops. If he does win, I will ask him next.